gonna do is we're gonna change this left front air shock. I ordered this shock off of eBay. Paid 250 bucks for it. It's a $50 core. It's a company from Florida. Uh, I'm sorry. There's like the mount is there's three on top. There's the air hose right here. It's all in screws. Comes with a blank piece that goes in it to keep everything together. I'll put that back in there so dirt don't get in there. And big bolt goes to the bottom. All right. First thing you want to do is very important is you got to get this air suspension shut off. And how you do that is you look right here. 20 amp fuse. Okay, pull that fuse. Okay, now this air suspension is off. It will not raise, it will not lower. Okay, so when you're working on this thing, you don't have the danger of the suspension trying to adjust while you're messing around over here. The other thing I like to do whenever I'm underneath my Land Rover is because uh, of the air suspension, is put a jack stand under it. So I'm going to put a jack stand under here on the frame down here. I'll probably put a piece of wood under that. I'll get this thing set up. I'm going to get this tire off. And I'll show you what we got to do after that. All right. Got the tire off. And I've got uh, uh, that side on a jack stand. This has a jack stand on it and a jack. And so uh, it's pretty solid. And so the fuse has been pulled, so the suspension is no longer active and trying to level the Land Rover. Next thing you want to do is this bolt here, you can see it right there, this one. And then on top, I don't know if you can see that, there's three bolts. And then note the color of the air hose. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm holding my camera up in here. It should show that it's green. We're going to address that in a minute. What you want to do is you want to take some penetrating spray. I use this stuff, so it's great. Uh, Blaster PB. And you want to go ahead and hit the threads on these three mounts on the top and this big one down here. And then we're going to move on over to the other side. I'm going to show you what we have to do over there. All right. We are under the uh, passenger side. Of the Land Rover. What you got to do is, for one, there's a plastic guard that goes right here. Covers all this stuff up right here. And it's out here. I just took both of them off. One of these two went. They've got these little plastic deals. You just pry on them and they pop right off. And I have no intention of putting it back on because I don't go four wheeling. So, all right. There's also two Phillips head screws that hold this plastic deal on right here. And you could do it with the tire on uh, with a stubby screwdriver, stubby Phillips. <laughs> Alright, if you look in here, some guys will take these off. Oh, sorry. Let me get real guys here. Try to get in here. Alright. There we go. Alright. I'll make sure I got the camera. Like I said, I'm holding it this is the green this actually goes to the driver's side if you're doing the passenger side it's going to be this one up on top <laughs> this light's giving me a heartache sorry about that. there you go so we're just concentrating on we're going to just loosen this one you put a wrench on here like i'm going to leave it connected because i'm just going to put the wrench on i'm going to slowly turn this wrench until this thing starts hissing okay so this is the airline, the green airline for the driver's side over there. All right, and I'm gonna wait. It's the, I heard it takes like about five minutes or whatever for it to empty out. So let's do that and then we'll go on to the next step. I got the aero system. I put everything back together over there. I tightened up the green hose. What you're gonna need is 15 millimeter, one of these little darlings right here, ratcheting wrenches. And uh, if you got a little 3H breaker bar, or that would help a lot because it'll just fit in there. So that just fits in there. And so you want to just crack these suckers. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey, looking straight down. So you want to go that way. So there we go. That one broke loose. I'm going to try to get the other ones here. <clears throat> the 
Yeah, this is not going to be fun, I tell her. Right? Mm, it's all right. There we go. There. You want to film it? Can you film it real good? Yeah. All right, and I got some help. Yeah. All right. Are you done in there? Yeah. All right, I'm trying not to bust my knuckles. I do have gloves, but I'm too lazy to go get them. Figure, doesn't it? All right, so I got the this one and this one are loose. See this big one back here? Don't touch it. It doesn't do anything. Can you see it? This big one right here? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. That's something to do with adjusting the preload on the shock, something like that. So there's another one back here. You know what's funny is I absolutely cannot see it, but I can feel it. So there it is, I think. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't want to get my hand in there, hand. Get my hand back in there. Oh, yeah, you old booger. Oh, that's horrible. Who designed this? Oh, Land Rover, shame on you. Don't we all ask that question? <laughs> There's a little more room back here. I think I'm gonna try to deep stock it. Cause I got I'm having a hard time clearing this thing right here. See if we'll do in the middle. I'm gonna put the light on it. Yeah, I'm having a hard time clearing this sucker right here. I'm tapping my finger on it. So I'm gonna try to get a maybe a little deeper socket to go on there. Just try to crack that back one loose. Or let's try this. So I can get this. I can get this in there. Turn this in there. Maybe I can get it with this. Sorry, I thought I can't see. Alright, you see? Okay. Oh, you back out a little bit. Lean back out. Okay, back out like all the way out here. Not like that. There you go. There you go. Alright, so we got. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna cheat it. Good way to cheat it is to take another wrench. Ah, son of a buck. For a second, and I'll get a hammer. Uh, How do I do that? Do I just hit the uh, button? Uh, I need to be recording. I'm editing it anyway. Oh, okay. So this is where our hammers are. Uh, hammer here. A lot of right people here. just leave this stuff in. Oh, well, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. And there's no way. At least I could have done with giving you a hole up here to <laughs> access that. Oh, uh, for not. Why would they do that? Mm -hmm. Let's look in here. Well, let's see. Ooh, wait a minute. Hey, wait, let me oh, see. Oh, don't careful climbing up there. I think that's it right there. Is it? I can't tell. No, I can't even get my hand in there. Never mind. Okay, I'll go back down here again. Uh -huh. <laughs> All I have to do is just tap this thing to get to loosen up here. Alright, let me get back to my position. My position. Alright. Okay, kids don't try this at home. Do this at a friend's house or <laughs> right. Just don't do it at home. Okay, catching the tooth. I'm not hitting it very hard, I want to bust my expensive ratcheting wrench, so literally I'm just I'm just tapping it, just letting the weight of the hammer hit it. Let's see what's going on here. Can you see it? Oh, can you get in there? Alright. Alright, we'll go ahead and pause the video. I can take this nut out and I can take these other ones, so we're going to pause it and then we're going to work on this down here after I get these loosened up. Okay. What I did was. There's a heat shield back there. See it? That silver thing? And then the nuts back here. So we're gonna do we'll go up and I'll show you what I what I did here. Oh, you can see it right through the dipstick. 
right down in there you can see just past in between the heat shield and the dipstick is what is the uh, the nut the bolts gone obviously so I put an extension with a UV joint on it and took it off and you know the heat shield just kind of bent it out of the way and got down in there and did it I guess you could see it yeah there it is down there at the bottom I used uh, this yeah. Homemade concoction? Yeah, I put tape on here for one to make the UV joint stiff. Of course, now the tape's broken because I used it, but to make it stiff so I can get it in there. And the other thing is, I didn't want these falling down and disappearing in my engine compartment somewhere. So you can see the little numbers ticking yeah. off. All right, here we go. All right, I got it. I got this nut off on the other side using this pig. Blank, blank. Blank, blank. So we're going to take us a little itty bitty baby hammer. I got some blocks Dad, under here. Stop it. I got some blocks under here to go chop. See it? Okay. So I don't want it to fall past that. So we're gonna tap that out. Go on this side. Tap. Should twist out. Because we sprayed it with penetrating oil. That and that's actually not bad. It's not rusty or anything. That's a really a surprise. But it looks like it's galvanized, so that came out pretty, pretty easy. All right, now this sucker should come down. That's all. There it goes. And like I said, you don't want it dropping too far because we got an air hose up so we don't want to damage. All right, what we got here? There's not much slack in that air hose. See it up here? Alright, so adjust my blocks here. Two 4x4s, basically just a little bit above the wheel height, enough to clear the wheel so I could take it off, works. And it's just perfect. The air hose is just fine. So back in there is some trash. I'm going to get my air hose. I'm going to blow it off with my air, little air gun. And then I'm going to get my little, I think, I want to say it's 11 millimeter. And we're going to unscrew that sucker. And we're going to take that little air hose off and be very mindful of we don't get any dirt in it. See all that dirt? Um, I guess you can see it. We're gonna, I'm going to blow all that off and clean it off before I bust that thing loose. So we'll do that next. I don't want to do it with the camera because I don't want to blow a bunch of stuff back in her face. But I hit, I hit it with this. You know, blew that out inside. Put a little bit more penetrating fluid on this nut right here. See that sucker right there? Okay. And then I wiped it off. I don't want any dirt or anything getting up inside that tube. Very critical. Okay. And so as soon as I take that off, I'm going to wrap the end of it in tape so we don't get any contaminants in it. But it's basically uh, 12 millimeter. Okay. Hold it right like that, maybe. Like right there. I'll up a little bit. Hold on, Jack. Yep. There you go. Okay. There you go. All right. So I'm going to twist this a little bit. Be care I'm going to be mindful. I don't want to damage this thing. It shouldn't be very tight. There you go. So let's loosen it up. Get it'll get a little bit loose. I should be able to do it with my fingers. And by the way, this is horrible. <laughs> it is not, this stinks so bad. Oh, what the land rover was thinking when I built this. Whoop. This was horrible to get this thing off. And uh, it was not fun at all. And I wish they would have given a little, a little more hose than that. I mean, that stinks. Maybe like a little coil up the top so you pull it. I don't know. Right. This is terrible. <laughs> Maybe you should work there, Dad, instead of doing that. I don't, I don't understand this at all. I mean, what were they thinking? I mean, this is horrible. They were thinking that you would help them. I don't know. So anyway, let's pull this thing out. It's disconnected. I put tape on here, obviously. So I don't want any dirt getting in it. So I'm going to pull this thing out. It should just come right out. Yeah, right. Ugh. Hey, I thought you were going to help me with this, Tori. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. Here's the offending unit. It has a, a big old crack in here. What I did was, as a, as a fix, to, I ordered a, another one of these air shocks, and it had a leak, so it was a temporary fix. I put goop in here, and then I let it, I aired it up to its ride height. I put goop all in here. You buy it at the store, it's called goop. And then I just let it sit and it aired down as it leaked and it, the goop sealed it. It was hilarious. And so it gave me like another week of being able to drive on this. And it worked. It was a temporary fix. It worked. And uh, there you go. Goop. It's amazing.
Got it. it goes in like so. Let it sit in there. Oh, wow, these turn a lot easier than the other ones did, I'll tell you that. Whatever the heck this is. This white plastic thing holds it all together. Okay, so you pop this off. Okay, can you see it? Okay, pop this off, it comes out, and you'll see that it comes apart, see? I don't hold it too close. So I'm gonna put this back together again. Red! We're gonna set this down. Somewhere safe. Somewhere safe, Somewhere yeah. Safe in my hand. Yeah, right here's good. Alright. Now stick it right there, see it? Okay. If you spread this open right here where I'm tapping, there's a crack. You spread that open, you can take all this off because all that'll come off. Okay. So here, hold that back there. I probably should, I probably do it with my thumbnails. Here, hold that up in there so you can see. Just like spread that open with my thumbnails. Hey, there you go. Yeah, it broke. This is the old one. It broke off, which is fine. I don't care. All right, hold that up there like that. Get this off. Okay. Clean this. All right. We want to change this out because this has new O-ring and it's just new, you know. And so we're going to take this plastic thing off. Watch this. Be mindful of this little ring in the bottom. Okay. See this little ring right here? Right there? You don't want to break that or lose it. Okay. So put it in your trusty assistant's hand. Okay. It goes bevel up. Did you see that? Bevel okay. up. Bevel, bevel up. up. See the bevel? Okay. So hang on to that faithful assistant in your nice clean hands. We'll stick this in here. Obviously, you know, the threads go down. <clears throat> Suck, stick that sucker up in there. Let me see this. Oh my God. Which way does it go? I forgot. Bevel up. Oh yeah. Bevel up. So be careful you don't break this sucker. Just slide her up in there. A little twist or whatever. Get her in there. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Take a look at it. Looks, looks good for my neighborhood. Okay, when you tighten this up, this thing's going to crush inside of here. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope it crushes in there. <laughs> so I'm going to put my tape back on. So I get that time ready to install this little booger. This absolutely is horrible. Okay, I got this thing started by bringing the shock up pretty high up here. I got my fingers in there and, and twisted the sucker and got it started right here. Okay, and then I lowered it back down again. And this is terrible. I mean, it was just like, this is horrible. I mean, you barely got to get the wrench on it. And then not only twist it, but you got to turn the shock as you're twisting it too. So it's gonna it's gonna be some work. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be some it's gonna be horrible. So basically you're gonna tighten this thing up right here using this 12 millimeter wrench. And you're gonna have to turn, you know, you're gonna be working the shock back and forth as you're doing it too. Um it, this is terrible. Uh good luck with that. I turned the body back here and I found out that I could actually get the uh 12 millimeter wrench down in here about like that and tighten it you know I'm gonna warn you right now this this is this this is terrible this is the worst thing we're gonna tighten up so towards the end I tried to keep this as close as I could to get that curve in there like it belongs because I didn't want to I didn't want to twist the airline after it's been tightened because I don't want to cut a groove in it so it's tight now it's not overly tight it's tight it's like it touched it touched here and I gave it a tiny bit extra and that was it I leave it alone so the air hose is connected now remember the whole time I did that it was sitting on these blocks obviously right okay so I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this sucker up and I'm gonna put one of these bolts in here to hold it and see if I can start assembling this thing let me get this lifted up and get a bolt in it all right I got the three bolts in finger tied it wasn't even hard to do just shove this thing up in there there's a little shroud up here you can see it there's the bracket back here I lost the light again it's not fun to do by yourself all right look there's a bracket back here see it right there I put my finger on it it's got a piece of metal that goes to the back screw and this screw so you got to make sure you get that shroud I don't know if you can see it all right so you get that all screwed together those are finger tight right now and let me check my line yeah, feels all right. I think it's okay. Oh, you probably see it better than I can. 
All right, here's the. Here's, this this just never ends. This thing's twist. It's crooked. So I'm gonna have to. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put a monkey wrench. You know, big old pipe wrench. Not monkey wrench. Pipe wrench. I have to put a pipe wrench on this sucker and see if I can twist it. Oh no, I guess I can twist it by hand a little bit. I got to twist it and get it in here. As you can see, it's not lining up. Of course, why would it? But I'm gonna try to wrestle this monster and get it in there, and probably tap it in with the hammer. And then once I get that bolt in, then I'll tighten everything up. All right, I'm gonna wrestle with this thing and see if I can get it put together. I'm gonna put this thing down. This is how I got it in there. I put a shirt on here. Got my body up in here like so. I actually pushed down on this like I was bench pressing with my shoulders up on here so I could get this sucker. <clears throat> above it so I pushed this lower control arm down this came I went down below this and it came out through this hole in the back and then I set it down on here and then started tapping on it as you can see I'm right I'm pretty close now almost good enough to get this in here <laughs> sorry I'm putting it in sideways my bad there right, you go so tap on this. Grab tap it. Alright. This little rock sucker will go in there now. Just taps on that. These two in the front tightened up. I got this tightened up down here. Here's the other one here. You can see the ratchet connected to it in there on the UV joint so I'm gonna get both my hands on obviously I can't do it one hand I'm gonna get both my hands on it I'm gonna tighten that up and that's where I broke it loose and got it out of there originally that's the spot all right now for the interesting part um, you're gonna put the tire back on have you tighten everything up but it's not sitting on the tire see okay I'm gonna come over here. Get that fuse we pulled earlier. It goes right there. Third one up on the right. Now our suspension is active again, see? I'm gonna come in here. We do not want to put weight on an empty new airbag. I don't know why, because it seems to me like when this thing goes into access mode, it's drop an airbag all the way down but I was told to air it up first before you put it on it so we're gonna do that all right it's on regular suspension height whatever you call it it didn't go down did it oh there it goes all right let's we'll let it air up all right got it on all four tires now I took the jack stand off to the side put the fuse back in and it seems to be raising up. We'll see what happens. There you go. That's the nightmare you got to go through to change out a um, one of these. I don't know what the heck you call it, air shock or something. Right. Good luck. <laughs>